Imagine that this vast universe will not continue to expand and move away from each other forever. However, one day there is a powerful force that can change everything. Gravity. This is what we know as the Big Crunch, a theory in cosmology that reveals the possible future of our universe. As we know, since the Big Bang, our universe has continued to expand, with galaxies moving away from each other. However, if gravity eventually overtakes the universe's expansion rate, which could be due to the presence of a sufficient amount of matter and energy, then an epic event will occur. Big Crunch. Let's start the journey to the moment of destruction of the universe. Today, cosmological observations show that the universe is undergoing an accelerated expansion. This process is thought to be caused by dark energy, a mysterious component that has a repulsive effect on gravity and is pushing the universe to expand at an accelerating rate. However, in Big Crunch theory, it is assumed that dark energy will weaken or disappear at some point in the future. When this happens, the force of gravity will become dominant and offset the effects of dark energy, which in turn will slow and eventually stop the expansion of the universe. When the expansion stops, the universe will reach an equilibrium point, where the force of gravity pulls all cosmic objects towards each other. Galaxies, stars and other matter that had previously been moving away will begin to approach and move towards each other. This stopped expansion means that the universe will not continue to expand and become larger and rarer as it is in the current phase of expansion. Instead, the energy and matter in the universe would come closer together, resulting in increased interaction and density. At the time of the Big Crunch, the expansion of the universe will reverse into contraction this process occurred when gravity became the dominant force overcoming the dark energy responsible for the accelerated expansion of the universe today. As gravity takes over, cosmic objects such as galaxies and stars begin to move closer to each other. In the early stages of reversal of expansion, the distance between cosmic objects will gradually decrease. The galaxies, which were previously moving away from each other due to the expansion of the universe, are now starting to move towards the center of gravity, along with other objects. This process will cause an increase in the relative velocity between galaxies. Redshift and blue shift are phenomena related to the Doppler effect in light emitted by distant objects in the universe, such as galaxies. When a galaxy is moving away from the observer, the wavelengths of light emitted by the galaxy will experience a redshift. This is caused by the elongation of light waves as the galaxy and observer move away from each other. However, in the context of the Big Crunch, when the universe undergoes a reverse expansion into contraction, the galaxies are no longer moving away from each other but are approaching. As the galaxies get closer, the wavelengths of light emitted by the galaxies will experience a blue shift. This happens because the wavelength of light shortens as the galaxy and observer approach each other. Thus, the red to blue shift in the context of the Big Crunch is the change in the Doppler effect of the relative motions of the galaxies and the observer during the reversal phase of expansion to contraction. The galaxies that were originally experiencing a red shift as they moved away from the observer are now experiencing a blue shift as they approach the observer. When gravity became the dominant force, galaxies began to be affected by the strong attraction between them. In this case, the orbits of the stars in the galaxies can undergo significant changes. 
The stable orbits previously followed by stars in galaxies can be distorted or even destroyed by the strong gravitational pull. The collision of large galaxies will lead to the formation of new cosmic structures. When two galaxies approach each other, the strong gravitational pull creates a force that deforms the galaxy's original shape. Shock waves and compression of matter occur when galaxies collide. Galaxy collisions and mergers can produce bubble and cluster effects. When two galaxies collide, matter and energy concentrate at the center of the collision, forming a bubble of matter that radiates outwards from the point of collision. These bubbles are often seen as hot gases and visible light in the electromagnetic spectrum. In addition, galaxy collisions can also form galaxy clusters, namely groups of galaxies that are bound by a common gravitational force. Galaxy clusters are large and complex cosmic structures. During a collision, if the two galaxies are close enough and have the right relative velocities, they can merge into one larger galaxy. Collisions and gravitational pull cause the matter and energy of these galaxies to gravitationally interact and coalesce. This merger process produces new galaxies that have mixed characteristics of the original galaxies. During the contraction phase of the universe in the Big Crunch scenario, the density and temperature of the universe will increase significantly. This contraction process involves compressing matter and energy into an increasingly narrow space, resulting in a dramatic increase in the density and temperature of the universe. When the universe experienced contraction, astronomical objects such as galaxies, stars and other cosmic objects began to approach each other. Gravity is the dominant force that influences the movement and distribution of matter and energy in the universe. As a result, the matter and energy contained in the universe began to be squeezed into increasingly narrow spaces, only a few hundred thousand light years. In the Big Crunch scenario, the increase in the density of the universe occurs as previously dispersed and separated matter and energy begin to compress into a smaller volume. In this process, cosmic particles and structures move closer together, filling the increasingly narrow space with more and more matter. As a result, the density of the universe increased dramatically. In the Big Crunch scenario, the increase in the density of the universe also results in a significant increase in temperature. As matter and energy are compressed into ever smaller volumes, the particles that make up matter get closer to each other the stronger interaction results in an increase in kinetic energy and heat energy in the system. As a result, the temperature of the universe has increased drastically. We won't be aware of a shrinking universe for about 10 billion years. Of course, the Sun and solar system had disappeared. However, in this discussion, to make it easier for us to know the condition of the Earth during the Big Crunch phase, we assume that the Sun has not gone out and is still burning for tens of billions of years. Alright, let's get started. During the contraction phase of the Universe in the Big Crunch scenario, Earth and the other planets will undergo dramatic changes. As the Universe contracts, the distances between nearby cosmic objects will decrease, including the distance between Earth and other heavenly bodies. As a result, the Earth will experience a significant reduction in size. As the distance between objects in space decreases, it will have an impact on increasing gravity. The gravitational force between objects in the solar system will be stronger. Earth will experience a greater gravitational force from its closest celestial objects, including the Sun and Moon. The extreme gravitational forces will affect the Earth's orbit and rotation. Earth's orbit can change significantly, and the planet can experience unstable orbit changes or even collide with other objects in the solar system. These changes can also affect Earth's rotation and change the duration of day and night. The contraction of the universe can also impact Earth's climate and atmosphere. 
an increase in the temperature of the universe and an increase in the kinetic energy of the particles in the universe can cause changes in global temperatures and extreme weather patterns. In addition, the structure of the Earth's atmosphere can also experience changes due to an increase in the density of matter and energy in a contracting universe. With an increase in density, more particles such as gases, aerosols and other particles will be concentrated in the atmosphere. This can change the proportions and concentrations of atmospheric components such as nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide and other gases. As well as impacting the atmosphere, the contraction of the universe can also trigger earthquakes, volcanoes and other geological changes. The shrinking size of the Earth will cause increased pressure and tension in the Earth's crust. This can trigger shifts in more active tectonic plates and increase volcanic activity. In the end, the Earth will be destroyed as a result of the increasingly strong gravitational pressure. And we come to 100 years before the Big Crunch. The universe is going to be contracting ever stronger. Astronomical objects such as galaxies and stars will approach each other at ever higher speeds due to the strong gravitational force. The collision and merger of large galaxies will occur significantly, forming ever larger and denser cosmic structures. Black holes will collide with each other and get bigger. Black hole collisions can cause an enormous release of energy in the form of powerful gravitational waves. These gravitational waves can travel through space-time and have significant effects on the surrounding cosmic structures. Close to 10 years before the Big Crunch, the contraction of the universe was getting worse. The strong gravitational force causes the density and temperature of the universe to increase drastically. Astronomical objects such as stars are approaching an infinite redshift limit at which point the light emitted by these objects becomes increasingly distorted and red due to the strong gravitational effects. The strong gravitational force overcomes the expansion effect and affects the redshift. As stars and other cosmic objects approach each other, this gravitational force causes the redshift to shift toward infinity. This is because the space between these objects is relatively shrinking as the universe contracts. The infinite redshift indicates that the wavelength of the light emitted by the object is continuing to lengthen as the space between the objects shrinks significantly. In the one minute before the Big Crunch, the universe was on the brink of the inescapable Big Crunch singularity. The density and temperature of the universe reached the highest points imaginable. All forms of matter and energy are concentrated in an extremely dense and hot volume. The atomic and molecular bonds that exist today may not last and will break apart into more fundamental elementary particles, such as protons, neutrons and electrons. The temperature of the universe at this time is estimated to be about 10 to the power of 32 Kelvin. At these temperatures, matter would exist in a very hot, high-energy plasma state. Subatomic particles such as quarks and gluons move at very high energies and the degree of interaction between these particles is very strong. The laws of physics as we know them may no longer apply due to these extreme physical conditions. And in the end, Big Crunch. In the midst of our encounter with Big Crunch, we feel the inevitable vibrations of the destruction that is engulfing the universe, like a tragic story that can't be avoided. The stars get ready to be trapped in the inescapable gate of darkness. However, in the devastation that surrounds us, we find radiating magic. The life that once existed the experience imprinted in every atom inspires us to keep the fire of knowledge burning and to boldly explore the distant galaxies. Even though Big Crunch may be the closing, but in the recesses of that darkness, light and eternity gleam. As a final tribute to the universe we love, let's face the future with open eyes.
while pursuing the truth amidst the roaring void.